Imagine you arrive in the afterlife. Now, there are lots of different lines of people waiting for different teller windows, much like you'd have in a crowded post office. Now, you're queuing up for a window above which is a sign that reads, Fatal Animal Attacks. You look around to take it all in, and you discern that you have to be processed before they let you through the turnstile to all the good afterlife stuff. You hear the people queuing ahead of you, chatting. While I accidentally startled a grizzly bear while hiking in the forest, and it mauled me to death. Someone else says, I succumbed to a bee swarm triggering my allergies. The guy behind you says, Something spooked my heifers and I got crushed by the herd before I could get out of the way. They look at you, you wince, and you say, I was rock pulling on holiday and my toe brushed a tiny cute little octopus, so now I'm f***ing dead. Hello, I'm Chuffley, and this is Chuffley's Countries. When you're in England, as I am, and someone tells you to go away, as happens to me regularly, there is a huge country that's almost as far away as you can get. I'm talking, of course, about the Commonwealth of Australia. It's a country with a fascinating history, a noble people and a rich culture. Just because Australia is a former British penal colony, don't think for a moment that the entire country is populated with the knuckle-dragging descendants of Cockney thieves. That's only half the story. It's very well known that Australia wants you dead, with all the poisonous, venomous and bitey monsters at every turn. But don't worry, because there's the ever-present prospect of skin cancer everywhere, which helps take your mind off the murderous wildlife. All Australians thrive on a diet of Tim Tam biscuits, Victoria Bitter and meat pies from a van. This winning formula has helped Australia produce some of the finest minds and many skilled athletes. In fact, Australia has produced way more than its fair share of talent in every art form and in every area of science. And to top it all, they are masters of the low-budget daytime drama. With every successful Australian cultural export, I am inspired to eat more pies, drink more beers, and I couldn't be more grateful for that. I went there once. Same accent everywhere. You see, in my corner of the world, the accent changes noticeably every 25 miles or so. I read somewhere that Australia is unique in that despite being a vast country, the accent does not vary with its geography. Perth or Sydney, same accent, at least to foreign ears. However, the accent varies substantially over the socio-economic spectrum. For example, there's the beloved Aussie battler. He's hard-working, he'll take no shit, but he's got a heart of gold and his accent is musical. It's expressive and it's authentic. Then there's the uh, middle-of-the-road Australian accent. It's the city suburbs, it's the Sydney ciders and local radio. He's the Aussie everyman. And eventually you'll come to what I describe as posh Aussie, although I'm sure it has a better name. It is to Australian what RP is to English. It's national newsreaders, respected documentary makers and highbrow comedians. It has the plummy round qualities that come from private education and heaps of family wealth. Ah, I'm no good at accents, but I do enjoy them. But what about Australian music? This signature sound of hitting a stick with another stick while huffing raspberries down a hollow log is beautiful and evocative, but perhaps a little limited in certain circumstances. The theme song of Australia, but not the national anthem, is Waltzling Matilda. Now this is about a chap stealing a sheep in the middle of nowhere, getting busted and then evading capture by running off and drowning himself in a muddy pond. An effective solution to a tricky problem and a ripping yarn for a folk song. The actual national anthem of Australia is The Locomotion by Kylie Minogue. So that's my Celebration of Australia, Volume 1. And if you could need any more reason to like Australia and the Australian people, well, they drive on the left just as nature intended. Mm -hmm.